हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू वीक वन ग्रेडेड असाइनमेंट सॉल्यूशन ऑफ मैथ्स वन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड जॉइन आवर चैनल टू गेट द फुल एक्सेस ऑफ ऑल आवर वीडियोस नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर इरेशनल नंबर्स तो विच आर इरेशनल नंबर द रियल नंबर विच कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाई क्यू वेयर P and Q were integers and Q not equal to zero. Example like root two, root three, root five, pi, pi. These are irrational numbers. Now let's check the options one by one. In the first option, it looks like a irrational number, but if we expand this, root eight can be written as two root six minus root two. Root eighteen can be written as three root two plus root two. So two root two minus root two, this is root two, and three root two plus root two, it is four root two. So it is four into two, that is eight. So eight is a rational number. So it is not a correct option. Next one. Now if we simplify this. to simplify this we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator with root 6 plus root 3 right so you can see in the denominator it is the formula of a square minus b square So a square that is root six whole square that is six minus root three whole square that is three, and in numerator it is root six plus root three whole square. Again, after simplify, formula is root six whole square that is six root three whole square that is three plus two into Root six into root three, right? It is three. Again, six plus three that is nine, and it is two root eighteen by three. Now root eighteen can be written as three root two by three. Now if we divide by three, nine by three, three. And it is two root two. Now, here this root two is irrational number. So this whole three plus root two is become a irrational number. So it is a irrational number. Next option. Again, we have to simplify this. So root two can be written as two root two plus root two. Divide by two root two minus root two. Two root two plus root two that is three root two. And two root two minus root two it is root two. So we get three. So it is a rational number, not a irrational number. So it is not a correct option. Next option, root six can be written as root three into root two. And root eight can be written as two root two. So after cancelling root two, we get root three divided by two. Here, this root three three term is an irrational number. So this whole term is an irrational number. So this is also a, this is also an irrational number. So these two options are correct. Next question. Consider the following table of few materials and their dielectric constant value. So here we given a table here, material and dielectric constant. When material is air, dielectric constant one like this. There are six points. Now our question is 
we can think of these as a function f from the set of materials to the set of dielectric constant values constant, uh, con consisting of the elements 1, 2, 3, 8, 7 and 13. Now pick out the correct statement from the following. Options are f is neither 1, 1, 1 to 1 nor on, on to f is 1 to 1 but not on to f is on to but not 1 to 1 and f is bijective. So simply we have to find f is 1 1 or on to or both. So from the table we can see the domain set of f that is dom f is air vacuum. I am writing this air as a vacuum is b paper as b glass as b narp membrane as m n and silicon as x so this is our domain set of f and the range set or codomain set range f equals to 1 2 3 8 7 and 13 right now we have to check first f is 1 1 or not so we know the function is 1 1 if f of x1 not equals to f of x2 implies x1 not equals to x2 that means no two elements in the domain will have the same image that is each element in the domain has exactly one image in the range now if we check here that f of air f of air equals to 1 and f of vacuum equals to 2 right so f of a not equals to f of b and this also implies that air not equals to vacuum so it is clear that f is f is 1 1 right now we have to check f is on to or not so f is on to if for any element in the codomain set that means the range set there is a free image in the domain so for any element in the codomain set there is a free image in the domain set now we can see here every element has a free image in the domain set as one has a free image like air two has a free image vacuum three has a free image paper like this so f is also on to so the function is bijective as f is one one and on to both so this is our correct option f is bijective next question asking that consider the following case a equals to x belongs to n that means the set of natural numbers where x mod 2 equal to 0 and the range is 1 less than equal to x less than equal to 10 so a is the set of na natural numbers the even natural numbers between 1 and 10 so a equals to 2 4 6 8 and 10 10 is included at uh, here it is less than equal to next b is the set of natural numbers such that x mod 5 is equal to 0 and the range is 6 less than equal to x less than equal to 25 so b is the set of natural numbers which are multiplies of 5 between 6 and 25 so the elements are 10 15 
20 25 25 included as we can see the range 25 included and c equals to x belongs to natural number such that x mod 7 equal to 0 and range is 7 less than equal to 8 less than equal to 29 so c is the set of natural numbers which are multiplies of 7 between 7 and 29 so 7 14 21 28 these are the elements of c right now our question is what is the cardinality of a backslash b union c union b backslash c union a union c backslash b union a b union a first we have to find the set b union c okay what is the set b union c these are b set and these are c set so b union c is 7, 10, 14, 15, 20, 21, 25 and 28. These are B union C. Next, what is our C union A? C union A. It is 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 14, 21, and 28. Now, B union A. B union A. What is the set? Elements are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 15, 20, 25. Right now, we have to subtract the elements of B union C from the set A. So, A subtract B union C is equal to what are the common elements? B union C and A is 10. So, A backslash B union C elements are 2, 4, 6, 8. Right. Next is we have to subtract the elements of C union A from the set b so it is 15 20 25 right and uh, next we have to subtract the elements of c union we have to subtract the elements of b union a from the set c so the elements are of this set is 7, 14, 21, 28. Now we have to union all these three. Union all these three and find the cardinality of the set. Now if we see in these in these three set no element is common. So, if we union this, in that set, these all elements will be included. So, the cardinality of this set will be, it is 4, it is 3, it is 4. So, in this set, there will be 4 plus 3 plus 4 that is there will be 11 elements so the cardinality will be 11 so this is our right answer